Blessings family, AVS here, your brother in Messiah, and I have a very, very special video for you today. Many people recently have been reaching out to me, going through very, very deep spiritual warfare, and I believe that we're actually in a time where spiritual warfare has ramped up against the body of Messiah because the devil is desperate. So today we're going to be going through a protection prayer, a prayer that uplifts us, that strengthens us, that is found in the very word of Yah. And this is Psalm 91. So first of all, I'm going to read that Psalm and then we're going to go a little deeper into the study. Tehelin, Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, who abides under the shadow of the Almighty, he is saying of Yahweh, my refuge and my stronghold, my Elohim in who I trust. For he delivers you from the snare of a trapper, from the destructive pestilence. He covers you with his feathers, and under his wings you take refuge. His truth is a shield and armor. You are not afraid of the dread by night, of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that walks in darkness, of destruction that ravages at midday. A thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it does not come near you. Only with your eyes you look on and see the reward of the wrong ones, because you have made Yahweh my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil befalls you, and a plague does not come near your tent, for he commands his messengers concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You tread upon lion and cobra, young lion and serpent you trample underfoot, because he cleaves to me in love. Therefore I deliver him. I set him on high, because he has known my name. When he calls on me, I answer him. I am with him in distress. I deliver him and esteem him. With long life I satisfy him and show him my deliverance. Now that is a beautiful psalm, Psalm 91. And today when I was reading that psalm, in fact I was listening to that psalm by somebody else in the body of Messiah who was reading it, I was given this message, this parallel within scripture which completely blew my mind. Now, if we go to the New Testament in Luke 10:19, Messiah, he spoke with great authority and he not only spoke with that authority, but he gave us this authority that I'm about to read to you. Listen to Luke 10:19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So understand that we have been given great authority. The body of Messiah, you all hearing the sound of my voice right now, you need to understand who you are in Messiah. You need to believe the word of Yah. You need to understand who the Messiah is when he speaks. He is the very word of Yah who became flesh, the son of Elohim. So in the authority that he has, he gave us permission to operate in that authority, in his name. We literally have Elohim living within us, the spirit of the Most High Yah, the Ruach HaKodesh. So operate in that authority. Do not be cowards. Do not be afraid. Understand who you are and understand what perfect love does. It casts out all fear. So operate in that perfect love. Operate in the authority that Messiah has given you. Know who you are trust in him okay and do not worry about the accusations of the enemy because they have already been defeated listen again i give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy not some of it all the power of the enemy and nothing not some things nothing shall by any means hurt you believe why because he is the way the truth and the life He's not the way and tells the truth sometimes and the life. He is the way, the truth and the life. So everything he said is truth. Believe him and then realize who you are and who lives within you and why that is so beautiful and perfect and why you are chosen, not just called, but chosen if you walk and obey what he has said. 
Keep his commandments, love him, and walk in the authority the Most High wants you to operate in. Then go and preach the gospel to lost souls, to every creature, so that they do not perish. And what is that gospel? It is the gospel of salvation, that the Messiah, the Word who became flesh, the Son of Elohim, he died for you. His blood was shed, and he rose on the third day. Whoever believes in him shall have eternal life. But those who do not believe, they are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of Elohim, the Son of God. Now family, let us reflect a little bit on the Psalm 91 that we read earlier. When it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What are we being told here? We are being told a very, very strong reminder that in times of trouble and uncertainty, we can find refuge in the arms of our loving Elohim, Yah. He is always there. This is a vivid picture of the protection that the Most High Yah provides us, that He offers us if we have faith. You see, the shadow of the Almighty can be seen in a symbolic way of His watchful care over us, like how a mother bird hovers over her young, shielding them from danger. It is a promise that no harm will come to those who take refuge in Him. So come to him, believe what the psalm is saying, believe what the word of Yah is saying. We are told, I will say, Yah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim, in him I will trust. So this is the essence of faith. This is the very belief that Elohim is our protector, the knowledge that he is the one protecting us. We don't defend ourselves, he fights for us. And this is far more powerful than fighting in the flesh by trying to war in the flesh. We war in the spirit and we are undefeatable because we literally have the word of Yah as our weapon. We have the Most High Yah fighting for us. And anytime we do need to defend ourselves, all we have to do is quote him and he has already defeated every one of our enemies. He's even defeated death. So he is our protector. And when we trust in him, we know that he will keep us safe in all circumstances. When we put our faith in him, we can find peace and security and do find peace and security even in the midst of turmoil because turmoil is a illusion we are not truly in turmoil in the spirit only the enemy tries to confuse us and pull us into our flesh so that we stumble but we know that a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand but it shall not come near you it will not come near me anybody who is truly in the most high yah in the Messiah, his body. We are his body. So this passage reminds us very clearly, no matter what happens around us, those who trust in Yah are protected from harm. We may face challenges and difficulties in the flesh, but Yah will be with us and he will not let us be defeated because he is victorious. He cannot lose. And if we are his body, that means we cannot lose. He will raise us up on the last day unto eternal life. And others who disobeyed, those who thought they were worshipping the Most High Yah, but they were following false gods, they were following false prophets, they will be raised up unto condemnation. So, family, understand this. Let us take heart in the promise of Psalm 91. Let us put our full trust in the Most High Yah, that He is our refuge, He is our fortress. Let us dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Don't just hear the words, but receive them in your heart and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And let us remember, no matter what we face, we are always victorious in the Most High Yah. He will always protect us. So let us pray, family. Heavenly Father, Abba Yah, we come to you today in gratitude for your protection and care. We trust in you as our refuge, as our fortress, and we know that you will keep us safe in all circumstances. Help us to dwell in your secret place and to abide under your shadow. Give us the strength, perfect strength, perfect courage to face all challenges in this world because we are in the world, but we are not of it. Knowing that you are always with us, you are always protecting us. We pray this in the name of your only begotten son, the word of Yah, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our savior, amen. I love you so much, family. I pray you have a beautiful day.
you enjoy my content, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will be making more of these type videos when I am led to. But I do believe that these type of videos need to be very, very specifically timed and only done when I am led to do. I don't want to force videos. I only want to do what I'm led to do. So I was very, very heavily led to make this video today. So I did. Share this with somebody who you think may need to hear it or may benefit from hearing it. Somebody you love maybe. Maybe they are even more spiritually mature than yourself or maybe they are a babe in Christ. Either way, we can always benefit from the milk and the meat of scripture depending on where we are in our journey. And the Most High Yah will reveal to us what we need to know, what needs to be revealed at the specific time. It doesn't make us any more special than somebody else just because somebody may have more knowledge than somebody else. But in love and with humble hearts we must present the gospel to every soul we must present wisdom when given to us to every soul so that we can all grow together and this is what we must do family it is what we must do i love you so much family i pray you have a beautiful day and shout out to all of the channel members who support my content financially if you want to do so click that join button and uh yeah i love you so much and i'll see you on the next one shalom